Mastering apostrophes, plurals of lowercase letters. Hello, English language learners. Today we're diving deep into a special aspect of English grammar. The use of apostrophes in forming the plurals of lowercase letters. This can seem tricky at first, but don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly when and how to use this rule. Let's get started. Apostrophes aren't just for contractions and possessives. We also use them to form the plurals of lowercase letters. This is done to avoid confusion when the pluralized form would otherwise be unclear. Let's look at some examples. She got three A's on her report card. Mind your P's and Q's. In both cases, without the apostrophe, the meaning could be unclear. For instance, PS and QS could look like a word rather than separate letters. It's important to note that not all plurals of lowercase letters require an apostrophe. Generally, if the meaning is clear without the apostrophe, you don't need to include it. Here are a couple examples. I need to learn my ABCs. She knows her multiplication tables, from the twos to the nines. In these examples, adding apostrophes, ABCs, twos, nines, would be incorrect because the meaning is clear without them. One common mistake is using apostrophes to pluralize regular words or acronyms, which should typically be avoided in formal writing. For instance, bananas is incorrect as a plural form. The correct plural is bananas. Similarly, the plural of the acronym CD is CDs, not CDs. Remember, only use an apostrophe to pluralize lowercase letters when it clarifies the meaning. Well, there you have it. The basics of using apostrophes to form the plurals of lowercase letters. I hope this lesson has clarified this often misunderstood grammar rule. As with all aspects of English grammar, practice is key. Keep learning, keep practicing, and soon you'll be a master of English plurals. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.